All right, guys, Justin Brennan here. Hey, so a great topic that I thought would be a really good one to touch on, because um, it comes up a lot, and we don't even realize it comes up. We've all dealt with it. And that is the difference between self-reliance and reliance, and how it really leads into your mindset, our mindsets, everybody's. I've dealt with this before where, look, if you have an issue, a problem, whatever it may be in life, that's come up and your first response to it is to blame others, to blame other things, to blame systems, to do everything else other than have self-awareness, self-accountability and self-reliance where you rely on yourself versus others or other things for your quality of life. That's a big difference because it's gonna lead to a lot of other things in life and I had to learn that for myself because there was a period of time where look, it's easy to play victim. It's easy to blame others. It's easy to blame the market. It's easy to blame, I didn't get that promotion because of my boss, or I didn't do this because of this, or my kids did this for this, and very easy to blame. Blame, 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 victim, victim, victim. Rely on other things, rely on other systems, rely on government, rely on everything else other than yourself to have full accountability for where you're at in your life. And until you do that and you have that self-accountable kind of humble moment, and I've, I've, I've had this, so I get it. It's a humbling moment when this happens. So self-reliance or reliance, right? Do you believe that you are responsible for your quality of life? Or do you believe that government is here to provide you your quality of life or other people? Do you blame systems and other things? Or do you blame yourself? So self-reliance versus reliance. Curious to see what your thoughts are because that's brought at a young age and you're, it's taught at a young age by people that surround us, right? Parents, family, friends, people that are surrounding us. We get that mindset of self-reliance or reliance, self-reliance or reliance. And we really even realize we're dealing with that, but that forms our framework for then how we deal with things in the future and how easily we blame other things and how we deal with it. Or do we just say, look, I'm not where I wanna be in life, professionally, personally, or in health, right? The three aspects of life, professionally, personally, and health. I'm not where I wanna be in one of those because of me. I've put myself, I've made choices, I've made decisions. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be because I've made choices that have put me exactly where I'm at. Have full accountability and self-reliance and rely on yourself and not others, not government, not other people. I think the country's struggling with it, but we all struggle with it. And I think it's important that you ask yourself that question and then have that aha moment when things come up. Have the aha moment when things come up and ask yourself, you know, is this really my boss's fault? Is it really my family's fault? Is it really the government's fault? Is it really the system's fault? Is it really this is fault or is it my goddamn fault? Have I put myself exactly where I'm at? Because I have choices I've made or not made. One of the two. So I think it's important. I've dealt with it. I know a lot of people do, but self-reliance or reliance, because that is at the core of a lot of things where your framework and kind of that, the root of all things come from. So love to get your thoughts, comment, like, tell me you don't like it, <laughs> whatever you want.